Hi, Josh Kramer's for Welding. Huge shout out to Welding Supplies from ILC.com. Uh, I was in dire need of a new welding helmet and some new welding reels. Uh, uh, we contacted them within two days of ordering. Like, I ordered it like three o'clock, and within two days, all this stuff showed up. So awesome, uh, fast shipping with them. What we got is Diamond Lead reels. Uh, the original set I had, I had for about a, what, a year, almost two years. I do a ton of art gouging. If you get weathering lead reels and it's your first set, here's a tip that I learned the hard way. Uh, you don't want cross arcing. And what I mean by that is you don't want to leave, if you're running 80 or 100 foot of ground, 80 or 100 foot of single lead, you don't want to leave 75 or 80 percent of your leads rolled up on your reels. You want to drag your leads out, let that help them where they can air out while you're welding, they stay cooler, and you stop yourself from cross arcing. Uh, the issue I had, I fried the bearings and my reels, and I would get a lot of inconsistency when I was welding for a prolonged time. Uh, I don't believe it's quality issue, it was more of a user issue. And it's something I learned the hard way, so if you get you a set of reels, I don't care what brand they are, drag them things out. That's the whole reason to put these reels on there to make dragging out and dragging up a whole lot faster. Uh, takes you 10 seconds to pull that other 60 foot out or 80 foot of lead out. You can roll your leads up, just keep them apart from each other and save yourself a lot of headache and downtime. Either way, we got new hats in stock. Links are on top of our bios on our social media page. Grab your hat to help out the local high school welding program with donations that we're giving to the program. And have you an awesome Labor Day weekend. I've been needing a new one of these for a long time. I'm just trying to make what I got do. We got us another digital infinity series welding helmet. The same one that I've had. I've had that one for about six or seven years. I love these helmets, you got good visibility. And of course I run auto darkening. Uh, we do have our hot liner style old school helmet that I run a lot with the flint winds. Uh, this one's actually got the hard hat built into it. So when I'm on a job site where I got to have headwear protection while I'm welding, this is the helmet I use and a cool background behind this. My grandpa's welding helmet. So, either way. Try it on for us. That one there is a whole lot much lighter. I mean, these hats are lighter and the auto darkening, you know, instead of flipping up and down. A lot of guys like these helmets. I like both, but that's my choice. Uh, either way, we're going to get these reels swapped out and uh, get on trucking down the road, get ready for next week. No stones, and I build no wall, and I tell the truth. The truth comes to call, and I try to walk that never. I go 